Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm making a few things today and uh, I thought I'd show you a couple of ideas too that I had. So I'll divide this into two videos. The first one was that project that Heather Nagy on the Graphics Fairy had in the last few days it was so good to see Heather back again. And she made a very simple card, I think you called it a tag actually, and the components were birds, some lace, a button, I think she used some fiber, but the background was an old postcard, the back of an old postcard. And I happened to have one, so I kind of hated to cut it up, but I did. So I cut the postcard and put it that way, and it had 25 cents. That must have been... Oh, no, that's euros. So I'm... No, that can't be right. I wouldn't have paid that much. I must have paid two and a half euros for this. I bought a whole bunch of postcards. So, <laughs> so I left it there. I like that. In pencil. And the other components, pretty similar to what she did. Um, because the birds are singing, there's some music there. There was a bit of lace. I, I'm not sure if she had a button. I think there was button, a button on some of the fabric she used. And she used some torn fabric here. I've used some seam binding, and she had punched a hole there. The back of it, I had this old card, so I just cut that to cover up whatever was on the back. And so that's hers. You can go to the Graphics Fairy. I think it's under Tags. And this is Heather's last um, item. And this was only a few days ago. But also, while I'm here, I'll show you... I think I may have shown you this before. But I keep my ideas in pouches like this. And these are to pages torn from a glossy old magazine I have. It's kind of like a history magazine. And I like to tear out the pictures and use them. I don't want to waste them. So I sew them, and then I put some seam binding here to sort of reinforce the top. And that's where I keep stuff. You know, if I want some some drawings I've done, or some things I'm working on, some French things. So I keep that in there, and I've got these in all sizes, and I've made them for gifts and filled them with ephemera. And people like them, particularly when they have a really nice inside. And um, this one is a smaller one. So that was the page. It's really nice paper, holds together well. This time I used velvet ribbon. And inside I put things that I'm making, tags and just bits and pieces. Oh, that's a flower. I wasn't sure what that was. So just things I'm doing, and I'll hold that out for a minute. So those are some things I'm working on. I'm also working on some painted fabric, and let me show you. For these folded books that I showed a video of a while back, I like to use painted fabric at times. And the way I do it is uh, I paint the fabric first, and in this case I put glitter on it, glitter paint it was, and I wanted to make sure that the glitter wasn't going to rub off. And this one is sold, by the way, and people loved it. And um, if you put something pretty on the outside, this doesn't quite do it. But something pretty on the outside, if I cut off a lot of the white, that would look good. Or I could also put these flowers, which are bridal blossoms, uh, orange blossoms. I've been working on my granddaughter's wedding, and I had a lot of those, and they were white. So I dipped this one in some tea and coffee, so it's not so white. So that's how I paint them. And I'll show you, I paint them in a flat piece like so. So that's it. I don't know if it shows up, but it's very bright colors in this case. And I must say, I used several layers of paint. The first time, I sprayed the whole piece of, this is just muslin, and I sprayed it with water. The water that I spray the birds that come on my lanai. <laughs> so I sprayed it. And then I put on layers of color, 
So I think I started off with sort of like a pale wash of purple and green and I let that dry and then I put on some pinky colors and some reddy colors and some different color greens and I let that dry. It took me a few days to paint it because I would let it dry and then when that was all dry I used this glitter paint and I thought oh I wonder how that's going to be. I hope it's not going to come off and so I put that on just dabbed it here and there and everywhere and I thought well now if it comes off I won't use it but um, this is how this goes by the way and I'm going to sew the, the center so that it's all together let me see that I'm going to use that as the front you can use you've got a few choices for the front but I'll probably use that and then I'll put um, you know some images on that and what I, what I was going to say is to stop this coming off I went over it with a, a wash of a gold paint just a really gold acrylic and you can't see it too well but I thought well acrylic will, has some sort of like a glue substance in it and I thought well that would be nice to hold it and so um, I did that with this gold and that's given it a sort of almost a yellowy brown look to it but it isn't coming up not at all not at all and it's just really pretty it just makes a really nice little I guess you'd call this a, a little you know just a little notebook and as I say, I just sold one, and the person that purchased it from me absolutely loved it. But on each page, I would put something quite colourful, so that that was, um, you know, so I would cut out, say, birds or something. I think because it's so colourful. I didn't use a lot of trims on the one that I sold, but I would probably put, you know, maybe a little bit of dyed lace, or some buttons but right now it, that's how it is and I'm clipping it because I want to sew the center seam the first thing I do is I sew that center seam and that gives me some pages to work on that don't fall apart and so right now I'm going to hold that until I'm ready to go to the sewing machine so that's how I paint my fabrics and I've got a bunch out there right now on my lanai drying I've taught classes in this too and we've done all kinds of things. We have that field notes book we're working on and we had the um, Celia's garden book and we use painted fabrics. It's really pretty. If, it's th if it has the glitter I wouldn't put it through the printer but I have put it through the printer without glitter and it looks it really is kind of nice. So thanks for watching. I'm going to show you a project I'm working on just now. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.